Hello and welcome back to WeBuyNewMotorCamera.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you've got one to sell, visit WeBuyNewMotorCamera.com or call 01283 240237. So, what we're talking about today, six birth Baileys. So there's a reason for that. It's because they keep changing the model numbers and I just want to go into that with you. So, here we have the mid one. So this is the Autograph 79-6. It is completely white, as you can see. Uh, the one before that was white with a black cab, which was a 765. That was a little bit shorter, but same layout nonetheless. And this was replaced or has been replaced by the 81-6, which has got a lovely black cab with gray sides. It looks absolutely spot on, as do all the autographs. About 15 to 20 centimeters longer, so it is over that eight meters. This is just short of, unless you put a bike rack on. And that just makes it that little bit longer. So. When you're buying one of these, there's not too much to look at. They're Alutec chassis, so it means they're all aluminium sides, and the only place you do want to check the floor or in damp check, damp check or anything like that is basically the floor, wherever you can get to in the cupboards or from underneath and so on. But let me show you around this one. On the rear, we do have that reversing camera just up top, solar panels you'd expect. All of this is as standard, as I'm sure you're aware. So we've also got that garage door there, Aldi heating system, so it has got the premium radiators, cassette toilet, electric hookup, and water infill. Alloy wheels are standard as well, just really well spec. There's not really much that you can have put on these on top unless you want something like a satellite dome or a bike rack. Let me show you the front. As we go to the front, we have got this Peugeot badge, which is what you'll see on pretty much all of them until you get to 2020, where they bought out the Adamo range, which does come on the Ford. It's a bit more continental in its layouts, and it does come with the automatic option. This does not have the automatic option, which is the only downside to Bailey's, but it does come with the 160 brake horsepower upgraded engine as standard. So at the front, we do have a really nice big lounge. So this is what I call a full dinette. So you've got a single bench seat, that can seat a couple of people. You've then got two forward facing, which the camera can see here, and two rear facing, all with belts. The bottom one does turn into a double bed, and then just above me, we do also have this drop down bed. So it's almost like a bunk system is the best way to put it, but there's plenty of room below, to be fair. All solid walls, so there's no wood in the walls, like I said, outside, so it is Alutec, and it just pushes up. And the good thing about it not being electric is that there isn't anything to go wrong, so you're good to go on that aspect. So the kitchen itself, you have got this fold-up table which does give you lots of workspace. Again, there's more in the middle as well, so you're not really struggling compared to what some models do offer. Sink, three hob burner and the hot plate. Oven below, you then do have three nice big drawers uh, which come out just below the sink and they are soft clothes as you can see as well. That there, by the way, is the Aldi radiator. So it is a radiator system rather than blown air, just more of an even heat all the way around. And the other thing I really do like about Bailey's is these overhead lockers. They're bloody huge. Look at the size of them. Nice wood with high gloss, it just looks really good. And it matches the size to be fair. So there's no wallpaper or anything like that to get knocked off. It's really user friendly because if you do mark it, it's just a wipe off really. It's like a plastic. Then we've got the microwave at the back and then because you've got a six berth, you want a nice big fridge with cool box in there as well, just so you can feed all the family. So we've seen at the front, we've got space to seat six people and we've also got the four berths at the front. And then look at this, we've got a really nice big rear U-shaped lounge. So you've got several different areas really for activities. You've got TV points in the back, in the front and outside. And this turns into one big double bed. Again, lots of lockers around storage underneath we saw that this one below me was the full width garage and it's just good to go for most big six berth families the wardrobe just in front of the rear lounge is nice and big also you've got space for the ladder which gets you into that top bed fold out table for the rear lounge and then you've got your aldi radiator system just sitting in the back with the filling cushions and then lots of drawers just below and then this is one of the better bathrooms that i like i really like that gray sort of plastic on the shower compartment. It just looks a little bit smarter than just plain white, which they normally are. Nice big cupboard above. Cassette toilet below. I know it is all in one unit, but that's what you're gonna get with something this side size. And then you've got the sink and a nice mirror on the opposite. Oh, and by the way, see that thing that looks like a bell in there? That's your washing line that goes all the way across. 
So price for something like this, what are you expecting for a 2019 Bailey Autograph 79.6 in 2021? You're probably going to be looking around the 55,000 mark, maybe even slightly more. So the 81-6, which is the new one, they start at just over £67,000. So that's why you're talking around the £55,000, £57,000 price range. The cab is very well specced. As you can see, it's got the six-speed manual gearbox which if you know it doesn't, doesn't do autos we have got the cr cruise control speed limiter bluetooth controls steering wheel controls nav media cab air conditioning cab blinds everything that you do need in the cab so what do you think of the six birth baileys like and comment below subscribe and we'll do a few more of these videos on a bit of a buying guide of what uh, what motorhomes to look out for and we'll see you soon so that's it thank you for watching the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you've got a motorhome to sell get in touch early either be myself shane or liam that give you a call back thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time